Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show you a simple way you can collect PayPal payments using WP Forms. And let's dive straight in. So the number one thing you should have is basically to have WP Forms which is actually a WordPress plugin. And you'll actually need to get the pro version of WP Forms because it is the only one that enables you to collect payments. Now once you have your pro version of the plugin installed and activated then you simply come over here to WP forms all forms and if you already have already existing forms you can simply integrate them but in this case I'm going to create a new form and I'm going to name this form rental uh, payment and I'm going to start from scratch using a blank form And it will take me straight over here. I can add a number of details over here, but I simply want to collect payment from my tenant. Or it may be you when you want to collect a simple payment from someone. So you can simply just come over here to add the name field. And then you can also add an email field because you want to collect their name and email. And on the other hand, you can come down over here and collect maybe their phone numbers, their addresses whatever you want to collect. But the most interesting part is the payment fields. You can simply come over here and add a single item, multiple items, checkbox items, or drop down items. So in this case, I'm going to simply add a single item. And with a single item, I can rename this single item and I say rent payment. And down here you can describe previous months payment. And uh, over here, you can add the price someone has to pay. I'll name this to be $150. And you can simply change the item type over here to either a user identified whereby the user can simply identify whatever they want to pay. Or you can simply hide the item type over here. So in this case, I'm going to leave it to be a single item. And then I'm going to make it required because someone actually has to pay this money. Now you can also do other advanced settings over here, but I'm not going to go into that. So I'm going to change this button over here to pay now. So I simply just come over here to settings and scroll down here and I change the submit button text to pay now. Down here under the submit button processing text is called sending or you can rename this to be paying. This is what appears when someone has clicked pay now. On the other hand, you can change the notifications. You can say I don't want to receive any notifications from WP Forms regarding this payment because at the end of the day, PayPal will actually notify you via an email. Or you can simply say, I want to uh, get an email once someone completes their payment from WP Forms. Well and good. And then on the confirmations, you can decide whether you want to show a message once someone pays on successful payment, it will show over here. Or you can simply show a specific page on your website, or you can simply redirect someone to another page. Okay, so in this case, I want to show a message and I will say thanks for your payment, something like that. Then I'm done. Next thing you're going to do is simply just come over here to payments and you're going to click on PayPal. It will prompt you to install an add-on. This is an add-on that is default by WP Forms for PayPal. Then you simply install. Boom, once it is installed, you simply click over here, say save. And of course it will reload. Once it is reloaded, it will take you back here, then select again PayPal, and then you can enable the PayPal standard payments and then add in your PayPal email. The payments will be sent to, and you want to make sure this is in production mode because uh, this is when uh, the payment will actually be processed. But if you're testing, then you simply come over here and select the test option. And then the payment type, uh, someone is paying for a service and products. Or if you're collecting donations via your website, of course, this can also work well. And then the cancellation uh, URL, you can simply add over here a URL where people will be redirected once they select the option to cancel. In this case, I'll use the service URL for my website. And then over here, shipping uh, details if you want to collect any of that. I don't want to collect any of that at the moment because I'm not shipping anything. So at the end of the day, you can enable any of these options depending on how you want them to be. So in this case, I'm simply going to hit save. Now, once I hit save changes, then that means that I have already now created 
a form that I can simply share with people to collect certain payments. So next thing I'm going to do after configuring this section, I'm going to come over here and then select embed and I'll close this, save, close this too. Then I'm going to come to any of my pages. Let me say, open up all pages. Then I go straight to the service page or any page where you simply want to show this uh, form. So if you are using Elementor, of course, you'll open up with Elementor and simply add a new section. And over here, you'll search for a short code uh, widget, which you'll simply paste over here. After pasting it, then you can simply add your short code and this short code will echo the form that you created. And on preview, this is how it looks like. Someone enters in their name, email, and then the payment that they have to pay, and then they simply click pay now. Now you can style this to whatever you want it to look like. If you don't want to use a short code widget, there is actually a WP Forms widget uh, that is provided by the plus add-ons. Of course, this is an extension to Elementor if you don't want to basically use a short code. And over here, you can select your form. So in this case, I'll select the rental payment form. And of course, uh, I can also style that up to suit whatever I want. I don't want to go into that at the moment. So I simply update. When I update, I'll preview on my service page. Well, same thing appears over here. And uh, if now I come to the live page for the service page, not the preview actually. So I scroll down here, still you see the form over here appearing. So I'll simply enter my name and my email outlook.com. And then I simply click pay. So now it is showing sending after showing the pay now button. Now automatically this will redirect me to the PayPal page whereby someone simply logs in and they make the payment using PayPal to me. Now the other thing that I mentioned in the video is down here, if someone is canceling, automatically they'll be redirected back to our services page. Just like that. So in a nutshell, that's how you can collect PayPal payments using WP Forms. And in case you're not using Elementor, you can still do the same thing uh, with Gutenberg. So you simply just come over here and add a new page. And with a new page, you can simply name it whatever you want, rent or payment. And under here, you can simply add a block. You can use either short code block and enter in the short code for your form. Or you can simply use the WP forms that is actually provided by WP forms plugin. And over here, select the form that you want to display and boom, shows up there automatically. I can preview this on a live page. And of course, this is how it looks like. And you can simply uh, enter in your payment details and then you can simply pay using PayPal. So thank you so much for watching this video. In case you like it, please give it a like. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Have a good time and goodbye.